Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are here tonight at Disney's Animal Kingdom to try the amazing Yak and Yeti restaurant. I believe that this wow. is the best <laughs> restaurant at the theme parks, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to do a full review of Yak and Yeti. It is a great restaurant, so stay tuned. We'll show you all the food, everything that the restaurant has to offer. The story of the Yak and Yeti restaurant is that it's actually at the base of Mount Everest at the Himalaya Mountains. So it's sort of in the foothills of the Himalayas uh, exists this Yak and Yeti restaurant. It's pan-Asian cuisine, a little bit of Indian inspired as well. So when you look at all of the decorations and the way that the actual restaurant is laid out and how it looks, you can sort of see the inspiration behind it. Um, it says it's basically at the base of Expedition Everest, uh, so it's just a really cool theme, really cool design. I think the restaurant looks amazing, and I love the food choices that they have here. They have so many different types of foods. They don't usually have a menu here um, that actually has pictures that you can hold, but they have one today. You can see some of the food that they have here. Asian snapper, sweet teriyaki chicken and shrimp, dragon roll bowl. Sichuan chicken and shrimp noodles, and then a bang bang calamari, calamari appetizer. And it says, taste the riches. Anandapur Yak and Yeti. Anandapur is the mystical town that this place basically is supposed to be situated at. Let's just do a quick look at the menu here. They have small plates, pork pot stickers. They've got wok fried green beans. As you can see, it's very Asian inspired. So there's a lot of Asian dishes here. Fire cracker shrimp. Uh, they have Korean beef, honey chicken, sweet and sour chicken, and then they have noodles and bowls, lo mein, and they do have a chicken shrimp or a combo, vegetable lo mein, seafood curry, lobster, garlic, noodles, yum, ahi tuna nachos, they have lettuce cups and Korean fried chicken, which is a spicy fried chicken, then they have soups and salads. They also have a Kobe beef burger, barbecue ribs. They have a ribeye, a teriyaki chicken, and a Beyond burger. And then they have a few specialties um, that I find interesting here. Because So they have like a miso, miso salmon, um, a chicken tikka masala, which we have gotten here before and is actually very good, especially for a place that doesn't specialize in Indian cuisine. It's actually very good. Coconut shrimp, and they have a duck dish, fried rice, chicken fried rice. So a good amount, and then they have fried wontons, New York cheesecake, pineapple upside down cake, yum. A few different items, so they do have some vegetarian dishes as well as you saw me scroll through. One of the things I did want to mention is that we used our Landry's car to actually get into this restaurant this evening. And right here on the table, they actually have an advertisement for the Landry's car. Now you do purchase this car, um, but it lasts forever, uh, and it's a one-time purchase fee. And by actually buying that, you get um, some perks. One of the perks is you don't necessarily have to have a reservation. You can just do walk-in. Even when they're not accepting walk-ins, they will take Landry's members. You usually don't have to wait. It's Usually it's the next available table you'll get. But depending on how big your party is and depending on how busy it is, you may have to wait 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, we ended up just walking up here. Uh, they weren't taking walk-ins. It's pretty crowded. 
and we only had to wait about 10 minutes for our table to be ready, and we were in here like Flynn, so we didn't have to do anything. And we earn points every time we buy food here uh, at any Landry's restaurant, and those points we get, we end up getting free meals off of it and money off of our um, money off of our purchases. So it's definitely worth it. I will say you can use the Landry's card at a lot of different locations, not just Yak and Yeti. Um, some of the places in Disney you can use it are Rainforest Cafe, the T Rex Cafe, which are both in Disney Springs. There's also a uh, Rainforest Cafe here in Animal Kingdom. And then you can use it at other Landry's restaurants as well. So it's definitely worth the price if you if you're gonna if you eat at these restaurants pretty often, just for the fact that you don't have to have a reservation. I like Yak and Yeti because I feel like the food is quality. Not that all the Disney food is not quality, but it's like Disney food. So um, typically it tastes the same from park to park or even from hotel to park. Um, but here, I feel like you get a whole different flavor profile and um, it's just more like you're going to like a nicer restaurant, not a Disney restaurant. So that's why I like coming here. I saw the other day that they have, I haven't eaten it, but I saw that they have breakfast at like, I guess there's a Yaki Yeti like a booth or kiosk somewhere around here. I, I haven't even seen it, I just saw it on the app. And they actually have breakfast and like breakfast bowls and stuff, so maybe sometime we'll have to try that. She brought up a really good point. This is not a Disney restaurant. Again, it is Landry's restaurant. So the food here will be different from the typical Disney restaurants. Um, I do believe that the quality of the food is better here. I mean, there are a lot of great Disney restaurants, don't get me wrong. But I just have really a strong preference for this place because, like she said, the food is different and it's really, really good. So we got the chicken fried rice because I was I was really wanting the chicken fried rice. I love it here at Yak and Yeti. And we got the combination lo mein, which is chicken shrimp. Um, so we just, we're sharing. Um, so he has half the rice and I have half of his lo mein. Um, and once again, it's just really quality food. And apparently we wanted to eat a bunch of carbs tonight. <laughs> I love it. It's cooked perfectly. I love the flavor of it. I'll eat most of it without soy sauce and then put some soy sauce on later because it tastes so good. I don't need soy sauce throughout the whole thing. Um, and I'm going to try the lo mein. Same with the lo mein. I love the way the lo mein's cooked. The vegetables are cooked perfectly, and I will probably eat most of it without the soy sauce as well because the flavor in this is just so good. Um, just the flavors here at Yak and Yeti are um, just superior to the rest of Disney. Yeah, I mean, you can just like look at like the freshness of these vegetables right here, like these carrots and these greens here. Like these carrots are so crisp. Um, they're they're like very fresh, very delicious. Like I feel like they they taste and have the texture of like vegetables that have literally just come out of the garden. Like I would think that we were at the Garden Grill at, at Epcot, and they just went into the Living with the Land Pavilion, um, you know, and plucked these vegetables straight out of the garden and put them in the dish. Like it's that good. And the, honestly, the the chicken. And the shrimp is just so good. It's so good. I mean, I do put soy sauce on mine. So they do have regular soy sauce. And they have a low-sodium soy sauce as well. Um, not everybody needs soy sauce on it. I just like soy sauce on Asian food. Um, it honestly doesn't even need it, though. It's so good. I mean, look at that. I think this is my favorite food at Animal Kingdom. It's my favorite dish. I love this lo mein. It's so good. I really do like Tusker House. Tusker House is so good. But honestly, for the price, for the convenience, no reservation. It's quick in and out usually, um, and it's different food. It's like Asian food, which you don't usually get. I mean, a lot of people are probably sitting there thinking, well, it's Asian food. You can get Asian food on any corner, you know. 
I I just disagree. I feel like this Asian food is just a completely different level than what you're going to get from, you know, the standard Asian or Chinese restaurant around the corner. It's really, really good, and it's worth the price, I think. And this is just so much food. I mean, this is this combination lo mein was twenty one ninety nine, and we're sharing it. Um, she's still eating hers over there, you can see. I don't think you have very much left. She doesn't have very much left. <laughs> But again, I just think it's such a good deal. It's $21.99 for this combo lo mein, and it's a huge portion size. And then this was a side of chicken trick, uh, chicken fried rice, which is only $9.99. So for $21.99 plus $9.99, so, for, so basically $31.99, we got this huge dish of lo mein and chicken fried rice that we're sharing. I just think that's such a good deal, um, especially for a Disney restaurant. So $32 bucks is what this is going to cost us, plus a tip. Um, and then they also have different desserts and stuff, which are reasonably priced. I mean, I feel like the food here is not that expensive for the level of quality that you get here. And I just want to point out, this lo mein, like, typically when I get lo mein at an Asian place, it's mostly noodles. You know, it's like a huge pile of noodles, and then there's just like a few pieces of shrimp or chicken in it. But I mean, just look at this. I mean, this is, this thing is loaded with chicken and shrimp and all this fresh vegetables in it i mean and and there's just there's some noodles but there's almost no noodles it's just so much quality food here yakinetti i mean i can't say enough good things about it what do you think i loved it of course i always do i mean i just it's, it's just consistent. A, it's just another level for me yep it's one of my favorite places to eat i mean really in all of yeah. disney i think yeah. i just think it's such a great place and sure. the food uh, and it ended up I think we were out of there for 50 bucks, basically with tipping everything, roughly around there. Yeah. So it's a steal, and we got Landry's points, and they do take annual pass discount, but you only get one or the other. So do annual pass discount, or do your Landry's card yeah. bonus. So um, you just choose. It's about the same either way. But I don't know. I just love it. I think it's awesome. Um, highly recommend it. I can't. I mean, for me, it's a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. As a restaurant, I think it's. The food is phenomenal. Never had a bad thing there. She's gotten the salmon before. We've gotten the Indian, uh, what's it called? The ch Oh, she's. we've also gotten the chicken tikka masala, which is also fantastic. Lots of different dishes, always a good place. The ambiance is great. We never have to wait. Thank you, Landry's. And I think it's reasonably priced. So all in all, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Highly recommend Yakinetti the restaurant uh, if you're looking for a place to eat at Animal Kingdom. So thanks again for joining us. We'll have more food reviews, more restaurant reviews, more theme parks um, every single day. We appreciate you watching for sure. We hope you enjoy these episodes. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, the noble way. Here's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>